Hi, I'm Jack Cuso. This is a weird video. I have a bag of Armor Alliance product that no one has seen yet. It's totally unreleased. It's coming out in 2020, and I am going to take a look at it and unbox it pretty soon. Just give it a little, a little peek in there. Ooh, mystery boxes. Uh, but I don't want to unbox this alone. So for this video, I have brought in a very special guest. <laughs> This is uh, Pyrus Queen. Uh, sh you can follow her at Pyrus Queen on Instagram and you're on Twitter too, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, she is going to be helping me unbox this stuff. Do you have any idea what is in here? No, but I'm excited to find out and Pyrus boys, I'm taking them with me. <laughs> okay, well, that might be a fight, but we'll <laughs> see. All right, stay tuned. This is gonna be wild. <laughs> I run the North Texas Bakugan Brawlers group and Discord. Pyrus uh, Queen, Pyrus Queen, Pyrus Queen want what? Oh man, <laughs> South Texas. Yeah, thank you. God, Pyrus Queen runs the South Texas group. <laughs> okay, here we go. What? Okay, take a look. Cause I've seen these already. This is your first time seeing any of this stuff. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to process, like, in my head. Uh-huh. This is really interesting. Right? Huh. Okay, so... The suspense is killing the viewers. <laughs> show, it, show it to the camera so, and, and show them what so, you're looking at. Hydrus Ultra plus Wings of Aquas. So, it's, like, battle gear, it right? Is, it is basically battle gear. Okay, so... But it's different in a few ways that I've figured out, like, scanning this and trying to figure out how it works. Uh, a few very interesting things about this package that I think are so cool. Um, one, a brand new design on the cores. The cores have, uh, this extra color. Uh, there's a big, like, winged jetpack thingamabobber. Uh, and then these two little, they look like missiles that connect to the holes in the legs. How this is supposed to work mechanically, gameplay-wise, I don't know. No one knows yet. Everyone knows Baku Gear is gonna be a thing, stuff has been leaked, but no one's actually seen these yet. This is all being filmed before the, the uh, Invitational Tournament. So this is actually the first time we've seen this stuff. I like how the piece on the Ultra like kind of pops out so it looks like a giant lion's mane. As opposed right? to it just being like popping out kind of like a small hat like in the original Ultra. Yeah, it actually, it actually looks really, really good in the color scheme along with having the attribute symbol. But this isn't as interesting in package. Wait, that has an attribute symbol? It does. We'll show that off in a minute. You can see Hydrus with Wings of Aquas and the little Baku gear things on his legs, along with all of this cross-promotional stuff showing other Bakugan in the line. We've got Halcor, Dragonoid, Trox, Pegatrix, Nilius, Hydrus, all with their corresponding Baku gear. So, do you want to do the honors? Do you want to tear into it or do you want me to? I'm waiting for a Pyrus boy. If okay. There, if there is one. You can, so. <laughs> you can do the next one if if there's a Pyrus in it. Mm. I don't know what he has. He's okay. been keeping me in suspense this whole time. Getting close to this unboxing. Because I just I want you guys to be able to really see it. I might be the very first YouTuber who's uh, opening up an Armored Alliance Bakugan. There's cards. We'll look at the cards later. It was my first instinct was just to grab it. <laughs> 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 Okay, so the Baku cores. People have seen these designs for Baku cores already. So it has the plus B power and then this little symbol right there, the little shield symbol and then a minus energy thing. I think I know what that's gonna do in the gameplay. We'll talk about gameplay stuff later. We gotta open this up. Oh, I need scissors here. Uh, say stuff while I get scissors. I'm just thinking how I like it in terms of like, it stands out in terms of colors. So you don't have to be like, wait, which core do you have? It's just like, oh, it's red. Like, right? It's a flaming fist. Or like, oh, it's orange. It's it's a shield. It's like, much more like distinguished. Distinct. Like it's more distinguishable as yes. opposed to just being like, wait, like what do you have? I just realized that they don't have like that soft kind of edging. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just kind of, it's just flat. Oh, yeah. It's not like this small, like the, gentle lip on it. Yeah, the edges of the Baku cores don't taper down how they do right now. So you could end up getting stuck on the edge. Maybe, that's interesting. It also though, it looks like the metal goes more towards the edge. Mm -hmm. They might actually, I don't know if they're smaller or not, we'll have to compare. So you might be able to pick up 
literally be able to more easily pick up more than one core at a time. The, the ball form is really smooth. It does kind of have a little bit of give in there, but I don't know if that's gonna be a problem. Here, I will allow you to do the honors in the first roll. You're gonna, I'm gonna have to do this a thousand give, times. So. Give it a try, we'll see. <laughs> oh hey! Perfect! <laughs> Yay! First try. So. Oh, that looks so good actually. The prototypes didn't make this look as good as it does. The Baku core makes it a tail. It actually looks like a lion. Yeah, it looks a lot less like weird and like floppy. I really don't like Ultra Hydrus's design very much. But this looks much more like the character. It flops over a little bit. That's not a big deal. And then the attribute symbol. Finally, okay, so some, <laughs> some people don't like the presence of the attribute symbols on the new background because they got used to how the other ones look so clean. I think the attribute symbol is great. It makes it look more like a game piece. It makes it look more like something that you use to play a card game rather than just like kind of an unrelated like little token. Do you think we'd be allowed then to change the colors since it has the attribute symbol finally? Maybe, since it does have the attribute symbol that, that could be, you could you might be able to just f do a full on paint job as long as you leave the attribute symbol uh, visible. The other thing about the attribute symbols is that is actually maybe the first bit of fan feedback that they got on the new line. I'll actually show a clip from my first Bakugan uh, Battle Planet unboxing. Now, it does show the attribute on the character card, and that's good. And you can see the Dark Boost Billy card also has the darkest symbol on it. So the cards have the darkest symbols, but the Bakugan just don't have attribute symbols on them, and that's really interesting. I'm curious why they're doing it that way. Um, and you seem to feel the same way about it. Especially since I have my own, so <laughs> I kind of was like... Right here, yeah, show that off so, while I get this out of the package. So it was like, oh wait, no! Like, bring them back, please! <laughs> okay, so, we've got these little side things, do which attach, are... Do they attach to the gear, or do they attach to the actual back They line? attach to the actual back and all of the Armored Alliance back and even the cores, not just the Ultras, have little holes there in the side. Uh, on different parts where you can attach these little missiles, similar to Baku Nano. They don't have any numbers on them like Baku Nano. They appear to really just be a little cosmetic accessory, which I have no problem with at all. But this, this is the, the main event, the Wings of Aquas uh, support piece. It also has the little Aquas symbol on the side, unlike Battle Gear. Uh, I already know how this goes on because I've examined it so long. Oh, wow. Yeah, it attaches straight to, to, to the, the magnet. magnet. Rather than having pegs and being magnetized on its own, it perfectly conforms to the shape of the tail. So you wouldn't be able, of course, to use it on any other back. I bag. don't know. That's what I'm really curious oh, okay. about. I, I really, really want to find out. That looks incredibly cool. <laughs> it looks a lot more like an action figure now as opposed to just like a marble that kind of just turns into something. Yeah. It does not have a B power printed on it, which is interesting. Now, I know there is a game plan, but that might mean that this doesn't play into the, like, toy game at all. Because if it doesn't have anything printed on it, you don't need to actually have the physical thing to be able to play it, theoretically. That looks incredibly dynamic, right? Yeah. It looks, it's very mecha, very Japanese. I dig it. Okay, let's look at the cards really quick. And then we'll open up the next stuff. Little instruction sheet. Full color. Very nice printing on it. Oh! oh the best part. Oh, I'm not. I'm just gonna move this around. I am gonna save this to the very end of the video because I need watch time. This is a sheet showing all of the new Bakugan. <laughs> you don't get to see that yet. <laughs> I'm holding back on that. All right, we got a new character card and a Baku Gear card. Here's Hydra's Ultra, 600 B power, five damage. That's pretty beefy. Power creep, boys. We'll see. Uh, the card stock is better, I think, than it was. Maybe it seems glossier. It feels nice. I like it. And you can see how it more prominently shows the attribute symbols on that. Mm -hmm. It was like the ones that they gave it, like those GameStop giveaways, like they actually printed it yes. on there. It doesn't look like this actually corresponds to the gear at all. Interesting, come close on this. Baku Thrusters is the name of this Baku gear card. Four energy cost, plus 300 B power, 
plus three damage. I don't know how this works in the game yet. It has a new border, that metal border, and the little sword symbol there that we saw on this. So all that means is if you land on this core, probably it costs one less energy to play your Baku here cards, and vice versa for the Flaming Fist, which is a very interesting new mechanic that makes this only two cost for, like, I think this is going to sit in front of the character card and last throughout the game. Let's find out. This is the real... Oh, God. This is the real sort of moment of truth here. Oh, man, there's a lot here. Holy cow. It's probably just in two different languages. <laughs> so it says toy battling game rules. Um, just like in the other ones. <laughs> yeah, same. Each player must roll... But here, how to play Baku Gear. If you've just got a new gear toy and want to know how to use it in the toy battling game, you've come to the right place. The first thing you need to do is get the Bakugan ball that came with the Baku Gear toy, then find that Bakugan's character card, and the Baku Gear that came with your toy. Lastly, take a look at your Baku cores and find the cores that have a Baku Gear symbol on the back. So I guess that is just... So it's that part of it. Yeah, it's actually, that's a bit of a mistake there. Symbol on the back. It calls, it's actually called the front. <laughs> Whoopsie! Um, the way it works is simple. When you're playing the toy battle game, try to land your toy that came with the Baku gear card onto a Baku core that has the gear symbol. If you do a great job, you can now add the Baku gear card stats to character card for increased stats. So, this is definitely not how it works for the proper full version of the game, seeing as it doesn't talk about energy cost at all, obviously. So, these are usable in that full version of the game, but we don't know how it works yet. It's more on the back that. Ah, it's just a different language. That's what I said. <laughs> but what this does tell us is how they actually work in the game. You place it underneath the character card so the stats are revealed. So that confirms that you keep the Baku gear on the Bakugan probably throughout the entire game, seeing as it goes underneath the character card. And that is a slick looking design. That looks so good. But that's so interesting that this card does not correlate with any of these support pieces. I don't know how this actually works in the gameplay yet. Um, but let's move on from Hydras here. Zip noise? Okay. Is, is there Ready? a specific one you want me to grab? Or? There's only one more box in here. Oh, okay, so there's two. Go for it. No way. This, holy crap. Okay. <laughs> the dra Drago's face actually looks like Drago's face. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you people are probably all dying since she's showing you this, and I'm enjoying I'm, it so much. Because I'm speechless. Like, these look <laughs> incredible. Um, okay, show the camera and talk about it. Darkest, darkest Hydras, uh, Ventris, Ventus, Dragonoid, and then Pyrus Trox. What I love about this is, for one, it doesn't... Uh, only have the name of the Ultra on it anymore. It has the names of all three Bakugan oh, in the set. Bless. And it doesn't have to say spell out Ventus, Darkest, Pyrus. They just put the attribute symbol on there. It shows all three of them open on the back. So you don't have to guess anymore. Exactly. Yay! There's a new type of card called a Bakugan Gate Trainer. The second piece of fan feedback that came out when they were announcing the new game is we miss gate cards. So it seems like in some form, in some way, they've brought back gate cards, or at least some kind of an equivalent. I already think I know what that is because I've like looked into the package and like tried to figure out what's in there. Decipher it without opening it. Yeah, the Da Vinci Code full on. Uh, the other thing that I noticed is these look better in package than the old ones did. Yeah. Notice how you can see them a lot clearer yes. than the other ones? Because it's not like display either it's front not... side or like three quarters view. Yes. It's from the side. And the old boxes used bubble packaging, where on the outside card they, they sphere, but balloon out. Convex. Convex. <laughs> um, but these are entirely flat, so the light doesn't reflect all weird, and you can actually see the Bakugan really clearly. 
this stuff is so much better. These are such genuine improvements. So they're actually listening to yeah, us. They're actually listening to people. They are improving stuff. Uh, this stuff was all being put in package during Anime Expo. That's how long toy production takes. You know how people do like impressions of Pokemon? You should do impressions of Bakugan and just... Uh, Twisting Inferno! <laughs> we're gonna have Someone to- Someone rush! Oh, quick, get Jason to line on the line. I guess- I, I, Get Jason on the line! <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Why did I agree to this? Jokes. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> it's like ASMR doing surgery. Stuff. Yeah. Be careful with scissors, kids. Give me those. I will save these. But... Okay, I can probably lift that off. The one thing I'm yeah. always afraid of is pull, popping out the Ultra and right. it just being like <laughs> Which is just why, disintegrating. That's why I like that they're using uh, plastic things to hold them in now. Look at the backing card. It's a totally unique backing card just for these uh, products. So, oh, that's weird. Oh, oh wait, I was about to, I was about to be down. like, wait a minute. Whoops. <laughs> also, uh, they printed them upside yeah. down. Yeah, like it has a Ventus behind the Ventus one, Pyrus behind the Pyrus one, Darkest behind the Darkest one. Yes. Nice. <laughs> All new stuff. Whoa, cores. New Baku cores. What do they do? Let's find out. Ooh, this is exactly the same as what? Oh, no, these are new. Was oh, there a, no, they're not. Those are the same. Okay. Ooh, looks like, look at that. No power creep in the Baku cores. Neat. Neato burrito. I, <laughs> she's chastised me several times for saying the term neato burrito. As opposed to awesomeness. Uh huh. Here, uh, close Does your eyes. Close your eyes and pick one. You just close my eyes. Yeah, and pick put one? your hand oh, over. Okay. Close your eyes and just pick one. Okay. Okay. So darkest. Go hydrus. for it. This is darkest core hydrus. Boom. Uh. I didn't accentuate the awe. He's adorable. <laughs> He's a little chomby. <laughs> chomby, huh? And it still looks more like a lion than... It, uh, I don't actually like this as much as a uh, normal core hydras. Neither do I, but it's still like, you can still kind of tell what it is though without yeah, like... Yeah, it's just, it's a totally new kind of design. It looks a little bit more mantanoid like actually. Mm -hmm. I was gonna, like core mantanoid, yeah. Check this out. Bakutech parallels. See this? Check it. So they pop. Yeah, they pop outward. I never got into Baku Tech. <laughs> How dare you. And of course, it has holes for Baku gear. These little toy ones. So you can give them little missiles. Yeah, because then you couldn't even attach the scene if you wanted to. Like, yeah. Because every magnet on them are different, so. Yeah. You want to do the honor, choose your yes. fate. Yes. Choose your fate. <laughs> save the best you, one for last, though. Yeah, we'll save so. the best one for last. Okay. Do you want to do the honors on this one, or shall I? Go for it. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's a new color printed underneath the arrow symbol. Same on that. They've painted the arrow so you can see them. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Far, far superior to the other line. Okay. Three, two, I'll, one. I'll do it. I'll do, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, do it. I'll use your technique. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna use your technique. <laughs> back comes the back of Sky Raider jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Weak magnet on him. Oh, very weak magnet on him. Oh dear. He's shy. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's he's shy. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh I can't quite tell what's happening here. With I this can't one. either, because it doesn't have like. Oh, that's so weird. That doesn't open like hardly at all. Like, cause even with like the original core chocks, it still had like little feet that poked it, like popped yeah. out, right? He does have arms. Mm. That's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Uh, still has the little holes for the gear. Now it's Mecha Shin Godzilla. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh. <laughs> the the, the oh, next wow. movie of 2020. <laughs> uh, only 100 B power. Oh. According to his thing, huh? I'm curious if this guy has a really good effect. He better. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl! He just kind of face plant. <laughs> go for it. Uh, arrow. Mm. Three, two, one. Ooh, almost got to stand. Almost got to stand. 
Wow. Okay, his arms don't. Ooh. His arms don't pop outwards. They pop They're just in there. Sides. He's got beefy, big, big beefy arms on him, and, finally. And feet. Do they feet properly? Looks like so the feet. just his toes pop open. Uh-huh. Good thing I have long nails. So yeah, and then... Nice. There you go, and he has a little horn, too. Nice. So it kind of looks like the Ultra Dragonoid still, but yeah. just a little bit different. Yeah, but he, his purport, his proportions are more like yes, they're more like normal. They're more normal proportions as opposed to just being like really just like he's got normal sized legs, an actual head that really does look like Drago's head, and he's got actual real uh, arms as opposed to just like yeah, <laughs> six hundred B power. Okay, let's see if the Baku gear well, works on it. Will they fit like a well? Well, you can definitely put them up here on those holes. Just guns but, on wings. <laughs> but let's we'll see. Does fit. Well, if you put it on backwards, because that part is supposed to pop outwards and it hit his right. head. Right. So let's, other let's way. Try it this way. There you go. Well, it doesn't quite do what it does it on the on the Hydaurus. It doesn't fit the same aesthetic, but. But it does like give him like extra wings and a big jetpack. It doesn't look terrible. Let's look at the cards. Let's see what we got here. I think we're gonna have some more interesting stuff. Dragon and Ultra. Same stats as the Hydaurus. Yeah. Same stats. But this one is Flaming Fist. Next card. Whoa! Whoa! That's a Baku Gear card. Baku Mortar. It's I'll... just a giant gun. It's, it's back! <laughs> the Baku Gun! gun. <laughs> Next! Another Baku Gear card. Holy cow. Dark Daggers. Great name, uh, my favorite uh, Daffy Duck iteration. <laughs> so four energy, plus 200 B power, plus five damage. Cool design. Next, another friggin', oh my gosh. <laughs> Fires Cannon, Baku Gun 2. Uh, Trox, oh boy, uh, uh, a, a lad. T 100 10? B, 10 damage. He hits uh, hard, but he can't. Land the punch. Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious to see how. Swing and a miss. Uh, curious. <laughs> we'll see how his evos are. Um, Hydrus. 400 B, five damage. Just not not as good as the ultras, at all. Just 200 B less than the ultras. I'm curious if they're gonna do any like power creep on the ultras a little bit. But either way, these don't seem that much like crazy like better than any of the stuff right now. I'm Aqua's cover trashes the wall. I'm Ugh. Confused. Okay, so this is. <laughs> I'm I'm confusion like. The gate trainer card. Uh, this is a metal. Metal card, in the back. <laughs> okay. Like there's just not there's it's no. It's got Winton and Trox on it. But there's nothing like on it like. Armored Alliance Ventus. So here's what I think this is. I think this is so that new kids getting into the game, have something to practice on. I was gonna say, like, instead of setting up, like, an entire, like... Yeah, I think it's for practicing, uh, accuracy. Because notice on the back of it here, there are different symbols. And you could practice trying to land on that one or that one without having to have a bunch of cores with you. I could have that in my pocket and have and my just... three Bakugan, or just one Bakugan, and just, you know, practice whenever. Which, uh, I can practice on a single core, uh, but... It's a neat idea. As you miss. Apparently, I really need practice. Um, it's a neat oh, idea. Oh, and you landed right on top of a core, technically a core, so. Yeah. What does an ultra do on the gate trainer? Good Ooh. question. This is really exciting footage. Rolling an ultra onto the gate trainer card, for which there is no explanation. Three, two, one. Go. No, oh, I need to stop using your technique. You're, it's infectious. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Ow. And he landed upright. Okay, well, let's see if the hydras is the same. Three, two, one. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Bro! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. That's a good look, man. That's a strong tail. Oh, they're dancing! Look at that! That's great. <laughs> so, getting a battle gear and two rockets at him. I know! That's what's <laughs> so interesting. Here, grab that case over there, the upright one. Let's let's see how these actually compare to Baku Nano. I have a couple 
in this case here. Uh, let's try it on Hydras. This was a sort of support piece in the original series. Click. Clack. Fits right in there. Oh, it does? Yeah. Baku and Nano were such great toys. The, the best. I'm just enamored with this sheet. Just utter practicality there. Okay, <laughs> you guys have waited long enough. That's a lot of first impressions. I this is all really good, but let's take a look at the new Bakugan that are coming out. Just, Holy cow, I can't believe we have this information. So in those order. are all the ultras, right? Are the ones on yeah, top? Yeah, ultras on top. Gosh, a lot of new characters. Ramparian over there on the side looks like a old school like sea monster. I like a Loch Ness. Yeah, a Loch Ness sort of plesiosaur type. I like that a lot. Uh, it looks like the tail is on the back over there, which mm -hmm. looks compatible with Baku here. Uh, there's Dragonoid and Pyrus. Uh, Enoch, which actually looks a lot like Tico, interestingly, from the show. Mm. Maybe that's his real name. We just, he just chose an evil Ooh, name. Ooh, spooky. Uh, Batrix. I can't tell what that is at all. It looks like, well, I'm guessing a bat, but the wings are just really tiny. Oh, yeah, or, I guess so. Oh, unless, yeah, it does look like a bat. Oh, unless... Yeah. Darn a three quarters view. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got Halcor, which has three very, very, very small heads. That looks really like, doofy. Ex like Exedra's, like three tiny heads. Yeah. Just, or more so. That looks so doofy, but that's fine. Um, Your boy Hyders. Hyders, we've seen. Nilius, which looks very forward and upright, much like a, a sort of King of Monsters Ghidorah. Um, all of their heads look far more accurate to the show. Pegatrix looks mm. better than current Ultra Pegatrix in that it actually looks kind of like a horse. But it's, again, small head. Very interesting. And the tail uh, has a magnet on it, ready for Baku gear. It seems to be listing which attributes get gear. It does. Oh, it does. Because you might be able to use the same gear if it's the same kind of Ultra, but mm -hmm. of course, if it doesn't fit on it, then or doesn't come with holes to put, the, or at ways to put the gear on, mm -hmm. then... Cyrus, which is an interesting name. My first instinct was Sirenoid, but... Yeah, my first instinct was Saurus. It kind of looks like a Saurus. It kind of looks like a Saurus mixed with a... What, what was the one you said? Sirenoid. It looks kind of like a... Mm, interesting. Gillator. I love that design. It's an Alicroc. It's a Crocagator. <laughs> uh, it looks really good. I'm really excited for that one. Uh, Tet... Tretorius. Tetorius. That, Tetris? Look, that looks like the monster from, I think, Godzilla 2000. It looks like the enemy kaiju that I always forget the name of. Uh, and then Trox, which looks uh, a little bit more Godzilla-like. His feet look bigger. Huge feet. More of a sort of like old school T-Rex since he's not like standing upright. Just the guy's tail dragging on the ground. And little arms per Trox. I'm just mentioning style. this now because I just saw it, but it's cycloid. Oh... Interesting. Because do you remember from the original series? Was he called Cycloid? Yeah, it was Cycloid. It was Billy's Bakugan, who was a Subterra. You're right. Oh man, more more old guys. But he's not back. like an actual Cyclops, just looks like a creature with like a single eye. Yeah, that's awesome. Right next to him we have a new Core Halcor. Oh, a Core, that's the first Core Halcor, actually. Um, he looks bad, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Big hmm. Chonk Boy, but. Big Chonk Boy. Weird, but whatever. I like the way Core Dragonoid looks. Not a chonk boy. Uh, a tall boy. It's a tall boy. Long boy. Centipoid. Oh my god! Centipoid is back. Ah, yes! Yes! Awesome. Uh, Auxiliatar. This is so, so many of these are like, they're not just animals. They're like new creatures. They're all like a lot of like dragons and reptiles and stuff like that. Which is kaiju, so. Very kaiju. There you go. Yes! <laughs> There's your core Hydras. Uh, they have, all their names sound so kaiju esque, also. Se <gasps> Simo! Simo! It's Simo's Simo! Bakugan! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, it's so Sim Simoga. Oh, it's Simo! Oh, finally! Oh, let me. Oh, my heart! Simo! 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 Uh, <laughs> Simo won the first Invitational Tournament and they said that he would get a Bakugan named after him. Oh, so, so wait, is that it? Yes! Oh my gosh! No, it's actually, okay. no, it's actually Simo. Uh, Nilius, new core Nilius, which I love the look of the new Nilius. Me too. Um, 
Feral, which looks like a uh, looks Manion. like Manion, a uh, much better name than Manion. Manion. Uh, Trox. We already uh, talked yeah. about Trox. <laughs> and then a new core Pegatrix, which looks very similar to the Ultra, but a little bit different. Still horse esque. So. Yeah, they all look so kaiju like. It lists the attribute symbols and the names, and then under R list it says rare, and under diamond it says super, super rare. rare. So it actually breaks it down. I hope you realize now that, like, since they says that diamonds are super rare, that they're probably gonna find a lot less diamonds, because then kids are gonna be like, oh, wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> I think that's such an intuitive thing, though. You see clear plastic as a kid, and go, ooh, clear, clear plastic. plastic? Oh! Um, so. Let me just, a uh, quick explanation as to why I have this stuff. Um, I am going to be in a Bakugan commercial. Dun, 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 dun. Kind of. <laughs> since I am the Kai-appointed official rolling expert for Bakugan, and since I'm well known for being able to do a lot of different kinds of, uh, trick shots and spin rolls and interesting techniques, uh, Spin Master is flying me out to Minnesota uh, pretty soon to be a stunt double in a new Bakugan commercial. They need someone who can do some trick shots uh, and do some cool techniques on camera, uh, so you might see my hands in a Bakugan commercial sometime you, soon. You hear that? Jet Kuso does his own stunts. <laughs> no, I actually hire children to come in here and roll them for me. Oh, that's, so your, it's that's, weird. that's your secret. <laughs> yeah, because now I'm going to be rolling for children, so... I don't know. Or maybe I'll, maybe I can just coach them. Maybe I can. I it can all coach, comes full circle. I can coach all of the actor kids uh, about how to roll Bakugan so they can do it. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna rack that up. I'm just gonna put a uh, twin destructor on my Darak here. Ready, twin destructor. Choo! It works so well. Here we go. So we've got uh, out with the old, in with the new. But this seems like it's gonna be way better mechanically and much more interesting. I. I'm thrilled. Are, are you satisfied? I am totally satisfied, and I'm in fact more impressed than I thought I was going to be with this whole thing. Yeah, that's friggin' that's that's our that's, little alliance. That's that. That's crazy. I, this is gonna be such a long video because there's so much to cover. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you. Pyrus Queen for co-starring with me and taking a look at all of this stuff for me. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. Follow her on Instagram and Twitter at Pyrus Queen. Uh, you can follow me at Jet Cuso. Uh, support me on Patreon so I can make more videos more often. And we even have some other cool projects uh, that we want to start doing if we can get uh, some a little bit more Patreon funding. Uh, but thank you to my patrons. Uh, thank you to uh, Varen OOC, one of my Titan patrons. Um, and just thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jet Kuso. This is Pyrus Queen. I'll see you next time. Huh.